Hello everyone, hope you are all doing well. I am Vidya Shri. In this video, I am going to discuss learner's characteristics from teaching aptitude, paper 1 of UGC net or KSET examination. In this part of the video, I am going to discuss about learning process and different definitions of learning. Who is a learner and the different types of learners. Without wasting time, let's directly start the video. To study about a learner, you need to know what is the process of learning. So let us see what is learning and what are the various definitions given to learning. Coming to the question, what is learning? Learning is an activity or it is a process through which a permanent change in the behavior can be achieved through experience or practice. So, this is an activity or process through which a permanent change in behavior can be achieved with practice or experience. Moving on to the definitions. According to the first definition listed here, learning is the process whereby the behavior of an organism undergoes changes as a result of experience. According to this definition, Change in behavior is obtained as a result of experience and this definition is telling learning is a process. Second definition, learning is relatively permanent change in the capacity for performance which is acquired through experience. So, learning is acquired through experience. According to Gardner Murphy, learning covers every modification in behavior to meet environmental requirements. So here environmental requirements means the needs of society, means what a society is expecting from a person or it might be his personal needs. So in order to achieve those environmental requirements, he is undergoing modifications with respect to behavior. So that is what is the definition. Learning covers every modification in behavior to meet environmental requirements. And now it's time to study about a learner. So the first question that comes to mind is who is a learner? Okay, A learner is a person who is engaged in the learning process. You know, we are all learners because at a point of time, okay, we are learning one or other thing in our daily life. So at that particular time, to be precise, if a person is studying any subject, he is a learner. A person who is engaged in the process of learning is called as learner. So now this learner can be a student trainee or an apprentice. So the learners are engaged in learning skills and abilities. For a teacher, you no, know, as for a teacher is concerned, in order to make the teaching effective, this teacher should be knowing a behavior of learner so as to modify the teaching strategies. So this teacher can reach a learner very effectively if he or she understands the characteristics of a learner. Once the teacher knows what are the factors that is affecting learning, so the teacher can modify the learning procedures so as to make learning process easier and helpful for learner. Now moving on further, let us study the different types of learners in involved in the learning process. So the first classification here is on the basis of personal and social attributes. Here, the social attributes of a learner can be age and maturity level. So, what is the age of a learner and what is the maturity level? Whether at that particular age, a learner is matured or not, depending on that, learner is classified. And also, with respect to motivation and attitude towards the subject. Whether a learner is very much motivated and how his attitude towards the subject, whether he is loving the subject or he do not want to learn a particular subject. And the third criteria here, the social attributes can be expectations and vocational aspiration. What he is expecting from this learning process and 
what are his needs okay the other social attributes are the special talents of learner and ability to work under various environmental conditions based on all these social attributes listed learners are classified into three types so these three categories are young learners adolescent learners and adult learners the learners falling under the age group of 3 to 11 or 12 years old are young learners now with respect to adolescent learners learners which fall between the age group of 10 to 19 years are adolescent learners adult learners are those learners of the age group of 15 to 35 years so young learners means from age 3 to 11 or 12 years adolescent learners with the age group 10 to 19 years adult learners means from 15 to 35 years after a while i will be discussing in detail about the characteristics of adolescent learners and adult learners now let us study different types of learners based on their learning style so here learning style it means the traits that refer to how learners receive and process information so here now the classification is based on how a learner is getting the information and how they are processing the information that is received so the first type that we have here is visual learners these category of learners they learn easily and they learn in a better way through sight means with the help of eyes by seeing they learn very much better and in a easy manner for these visual learners brightness size color distance clarity frame and symmetry are important visual learners must see so that they may learn easily so these type of learners they have to see so as to learn very easily these visual learners are categorized into two so these categories are verbalists and images verbalists learn with the help of words and letters where images learn with the help of images or pictures so the second type of learners based on the learning style is auditory learners this type of learners they receive information with the help of sound so they acquire information through sound Various aspects of sound play an important role here. For example, the pitch of sound, volume, tempo, rhythm, resonance. These are all the factors that affect their learning style. Among the auditory learners, we have two categories that oral and oral. Oral means they learn by listening to the other. So if a learner is learning by the help of listening to the others we call them as oral a u r a l okay so if they are learning by talking and hearing themselves then we call them as oral learners third type is motor learners motor learners can learn through motor activity these type of learners they learn with the help of actions they can use their hands legs okay or certain movements are used when they are involved in the learning process now the various actions or the aspects that is important with respect to these learners are frequency duration intensity pressure etc so these factors are important for motor learners so these learners may be kinesthetics means they learn through the use of gross motor muscles with the help of hands and legs through the help of movements they are going to learn or they can be mechanical where they use fine motor muscles to support their learning the next type of learners we have is intuitive learners where these type of learners learn effectively from insights and hunches inductive learners they learn effectively from facts to generalization 
Then we have is deductive learners. Deductive learners learn effectively from theory to individual fact. So the difference between inductive type of learner to deductive type of learner is inductive type of learners learn the fact and then they generalize those ideas. Whereas deductive learners, they study theory first and then they convert them into fact. Okay, they go from general to individual rule. Next we have is reflective learners where they learn through introspections. Sequential learners learn through series of related steps. Listening is an important skill for a learner. Now based on the listening styles, learners are classified into four types. So the first type of listening is active listening. So it is listening with a purpose. So when a learner is listening with the purpose, that type we call it as active listening. Then we have is empathetic listening. So empathetic listening is a form of active listening in which you are attempting to understand the other person. So you are listening to another person where you are involved in that listening and you are trying to understand the other person. So that type of listening we call it as empathetic listening. The third type we have is evaluating listening or critical listening. So here the listener evaluates the accuracy, meaningfulness and utility of speaker's message. So you see the learner is evaluating the accuracy, meaningfulness and he is thinking of the utility of what he is listening. So most of the classroom situations are the evaluative listening. Okay. Fourth type of listening style is appreciative listening. So this listening is for enjoyment. It involves seeking situations involving relaxing, fun or emotionally stimulating information. Now we have the classifications of learners on the basis of thinking style. Based on thinking style, we have four different classifications of learner. First classification is reflective thinkers. These reflective thinkers use critical thinking process for analyzing and making judgment about what has happened. So the process of critical thinking is involved with respect to reflective thinkers. So other than this, what characteristic they have is they view new information with respect to the subject. So whatever the information these type of learners receive, they view those information with relation to the subject. They relate new information to the past experiences. Whatever the past experiences these learners have, they relate new information with these past experience. And these type of learners always ask a question, why? And they examine their feelings about what they are learning. Second type of learners based on thinking style is creative thinkers. So these creative thinkers, focus on when and where something new and somehow valuable is informed. These type of learners like to play with new information that they have collected. These learners also ask the questions why. They create their own solutions and shortcuts for a problem or a learning situation that is given to them. Third type are practical thinkers. These learners always look for factual information and they seek the simplest and most efficient way to do their task. They are not satisfied until they know how to apply their new skills to their new job or their interest. The last type of this category is conceptual thinkers. These conceptual thinkers accept new information only after seeing the big picture. So once they get the information, they will think big to obtain what can happen next. So only after that, they will accept the information that they have received. They want to know how things work, not just the final outcome. So they do not focus on final outcome only, but instead they learn how this is going to work. These conceptual thinkers learn the concepts that are presented but also they want to know the related concepts that may not have been included. 
so they want to learn all the concepts that is discussed or the concepts that's covering the topic that is discussed i'll be stopping this video here in this particular part of the video on learners characteristics i have discussed about learning process and the different definitions for learning process also we have discussed about the different types of learners in the next part of the video i will be discussing the characteristics of adolescent learners in detail i hope you will find this video helpful if so please do like and share this video among your friends and family if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get notified about the upcoming videos thank you for watching i'll meet you in my next video stay connected keep learning take care bye bye